Hey there, everyone. I hope you are all doing good. Today, I'm here to talk to you about Bagai from Frap Tool, which is a clock, smooth, random, sample and old, and audio beat destroyer sample rate reducer thing. It is quite a dense module for its size, and I will try to explain to you all the little sections one by one and showing you some patches that you can do with them. Let me start by saying as well that this video is sponsored by FrapTools, as they sent me Pagai to try and to demo, even though there is, once again, no contract and no money exchange between us. So, let's get going. At the heart of the module is a clock that I'm using right now to advance the no control. This patch is just the final output of the Branso, also by Fraptool, going to the low pass gate Suomi by Nikia Circuit and The echo and reverb are from a Strymon Volante So here is the clock output The clock is controlled by this knob here From there, there is quite a few things you can do with the clock itself. You can manually stop it. Which I find quite interesting in this kind of ambient synth-only patches, because it allows you to just advance the sequencer for a time, then stop, then go again. There's also a jack over here to stop it. From there you can also modulate it. So here I'm using one of the rows of the no control, the same that will actually modulate the internal clock of the no control by make noise. But here I am basically modulating that clock to get that sort of weird rhythm going on. We have that inverter here. You can choose to slow it down or to make it faster. Here we have a noise output. The noise is actually feeding the sample and hold. It can be used to modulate things as well. That little knob here is the color of the noise. From bright to dark. 
will also affect what you get out of the sample and hold. To help you understand how the different clock outputs work, I'm going to patch each of them to trigger this envelope that's opening a low-pass gate. This is the main clock. This is the burst generator. This is absolutely chaotic. You can see it is influenced by the fluctuating random voltages. It's also derived from the main gate. Then we have these minus and plus clock. The minus one just skip some tick of the clock. You don't know when exactly. It's all some weird inter inside patching. And the plus one does what you expect, the opposite. Sometimes it adds thick to the clock. So the clock is also driving the sample and hold. This is the output of the main sample and hold. I'm, I'm going to attenuate it and send it to control the pitch of this FM tone. Ooh, that's good. When using the plus clock, sometimes you have two clocks with the same tone because they happen inside one click. While using the main clock, you always have a new value each time. This one, you don't know. <laughs> this one, you know even less. Cross-patching is also an option. Extreme chaos. Plugging the burst out to the main clock. Very cool for these kind of FM patches. The red output is a quantized, bit quantized sample and hold version can also be used at some sort of a clock, random clock, in that position, because the quantization on that position is just one bit, so you have either an output or nothing. So this is also a minus division of the main clock. Now let's talk about what makes Bagai particularly interesting in the land of sample and hold. And what you're hearing right now is that breakbeat being pre-amplified by hears and sent to the input of Bagai. And we are actually listening to the sample and old output. But what we hear right now is basically the same thing that I've sent into it. Because the clock thanks to this switch, can go to up to 48 kilohertz. And by playing with this knob, I can reduce the sampling rate for that so beloved FX from the junglist era and chiptune music sample rate reduction. Even better, I can instantly modulate that straight from the guy. And what happens if we take the red output, the quantized one?
If this is at max, this at zero, it's basically the same thing. As you start turning the quantization knob, you get actual pitch reduction, which is very rare. Actually, it is quite common to see some sample and all that can sample at audio rate if you send them an oscillator at the clock input. You can perform these kind of things. The originality of Bagai is to have a clock inside that's dedicated to that. But the beat part though, the quantized beat section, allow you to perform the actual beat reduction effect to make your song uber dirty and still retaining the sample rate reduction thing. It's awesome on breakbeat but it's also great on synth. Let's add some synth from the tracker. <laughs> some delay and echo as always. This is well dirty. I also really like to use Envelope followers to modulate that kind of thing. Some sort of dynamic sample rate reduction. We can also control the beat depth. Let's go back on the breakbeat. Envelope follower to the control of the sample rate reduction fluctuating random voltage to the beat reduction this is pretty intense, I like that We're going to have a look at this one, the white one that is the fluctuating random voltage generator. This kind of concept is very taken from the 266 source of uncertainty by Buchler. And we can see some familiar uh, iconography if you know the module, such as this distribution thing. So let's listen. <laughs> have a very simple patch going on. The fluctuating output is sent to control the fold parameter of the Branso. Here. So if I remove the modulation, I have a static timber that doesn't change. modulation the more this fold parameter is modulated the output of this fluctuating random voltage is also bipolar same as the sample and old because it's also sampling the same thermal noise generator so the controls that you have on this are the speed and integration at the same time. So it can do some very wobbly stuff like this. Or super slow and evolving modulation. On top of this you have that distribution parameter which basically fully clockwise like this will mostly output high voltages mostly 
yeah, around the maximum possible. And this will mostly output low voltages, so below zero. And here, it's the normal in-between things. We have control over the speed. Which is totally independent from the main clock. So I'm going to send say, a very slow LFO from this brand so. between very slow and evolving and wobbly. Tied to this are the burst generator. Actually, the main clock being outputted at higher rates, depending on the setting of the fluctuating rate of voltage. Here we get some very weird stuff going on. Everything is sort of affecting each other right now, it's a bit of a mess. So I'll go back with a more simple patch to demonstrate this. Now let's talk a little bit about that sampling hold. So in that patch I have the Tracker Plus playing a polyphonic synth line and drums. And I'm triggering this envelope that is letting play a random percussion that I'm going to have with the Prenso. This is the first state of the patch. Here, I'm sending all those triggers to the clock. The main clock out is triggering, so every time, the envelope. But the sample handle is actually not clocked from this override input. It's still clocked by the main clock that's actually running in the background. If you want it to be clocked like this, either you mold this or you use one of the other minus or plus gate, which I'm going to do now. I'm going to take the minus clock. You clock it from here. So here I send that sample and old output, which is bipolar random voltages, to the exponential FM input of the main oscillator on Brenso. And I could use the quantized one to modulate the decay of my envelope. So fully clockwise, I will have only two possible outputs, like I said earlier. I'm going to patch it to the internal VCA of Branso in order just to attenuate it.
So these letters have two different lengths. Some sort of uh, open and closed. Weird bleep. Let's see what plays the best with the drum beat. Let's also send that control the second oscillator. So by changing the quantization output, I have more steps possible, so a bigger variety of weird glitchy things. Quick example for a techno electro kind of thing. Always like this kind of stuff. Wonky. Because it is somewhat of a classic exercise, I'm going to try to patch a a Krell patch using Bagai, which should be easy because it contains basically everything that's needed to play this. First, we need the output of Brenso. I'm going to use its internal VCA just in order to keep everything on screen. So we want the clock. Let's take the plus one directly to have something a bit more random. We want this one to trigger an envelope. Which is going to control our VCA. Sine wave out. It will be easier, a bit of delay, a bit of spring reverb. And now we want the random output. Let's take the quantized out. So every step we have a new value. We can change how many possible value we have by using the quantization knob. This is going to be only two. And that's a good range. And the key to the Krell patch is to also control the length of the envelope and the clock. So I'm patching the sample and all back into the speed control of the clock. As it is bipolar, it will jump around the center tempo that you set with the knob. I'm also going to mold that to control the attack. And the decay. So we now go from super short percussive hits to long weird things.
if you don't like the overall um, bipolar, if you don't like the overall bipolar output of Bagai, you can plug whatever you want into the sample and hold. Here. You could also straight away get some very intense noise if you're using the internal noise source. can be turned into very ex extreme washes of noise like this or into nice percussions. Thanks for watching this video. I hope it was helpful. As always, you can find some sample packs out of this session on the Patreon page where you can also get some teaching from me if you want. You can also have access to all the previous sample packs that I've uploaded, which are many. And you can buy some stuff from the affiliate links in the description if you want to support the channel by buying gear. Thanks to you for watching. Thanks to Frap Tools for sending Bagai to demo. And see you next time. Bye bye.